What's up guys, it is Aaron, welcome back to the channel. Today I have an unboxing of the Traxxas Sport GT. Uh, this is their newer model, uh, 30 plus MBH as usual for some of their models. Um, a lot of their models will have that on their website, the 30 plus MBH and stuff like that. So uh, let's get to the unboxing. Actually, I want to say I'm sorry I haven't uploaded as much. Uh, the weather's just been crap, so I haven't been able to go outside and do running videos a lot for some of my cars. I'm working on the Traxxas. Um, and I know that some of you you guys have actually asked for videos for the uh, uh, go-kart build. Um, that'll be coming up this weekend, so um, just stay tuned for that. So this is the kind of box you'll be getting when you order the Ford GT. Uh, it has their new Fortec 2.0 all-wheel drive chassis. Um, I've, this is the first time I'm hearing about it. I'm not sure when this car came out. It came out a couple of months back. They released it on... I'm not sure, but they released it at a, a, a car, an RC car event. So um, I think that was four months ago. So I'm only getting my hands on it just now. And he's got all this plastic wrap off. I am not prepared for this video. I'm not ready. I'm not prepared for this video because I didn't expect it to come in this quickly. Um, I did get priority delivery, but I didn't expect it to come within like two days. So um, that was good. So and um, I'll leave the uh, link to the website that I got this off of in the description below. Uh, if I don't, then I just got lazy, and I'm sorry. <laughs> but stuff off. I don't know why they bother putting this plastic stuff um, on this. Um, because it's already in a box, so I don't know, it might, it might just be to stop um, people from getting into it so easily and stuff like that. So uh, there's three colours that this can, can come in and you guys can't see it from here, so I'll bring it in closer. You can get it in a matte black, uh, kind of like a chrome blue and a chrome red. I got the chrome red, which is going to look really, really nice. Uh, oh, using a screwdriver, because <laughs> I couldn't find anything else in my room. And I've always loved the way that um, Trax just uh, package their products. Like you see this, a lot of people have this all closed off and you have to cut into it and everything to get it out and you risk damaging the remote, but they have it open, they have it very easy to take out the remote. Just fold that down, pull it out. So here we go, this is the Trax's 2QI. Uh, I'm not sure what much is different. Well actually I'll go off and get the normal remote and you can see some of the little details that are different about this remote. So this is the Traxxas TQ, um, they both stand for top qualifying, you can see that there's more, well less buttons on this, there's one button at the top, um, on and off switch down here, and uh, there is the steering trim here as well, and that's really it for this remote, so it's a very standard remote. Uh, well for this top qualifier one you have neutral, 50-50, whatever the hell all of this is, my camera will focus, come on camera. Well, that's not wanting to focus right now because I don't have very good lighting at the minute. But uh, you can see there's two other buttons up, other <laughs> buttons up here. Uh, the on and off switch is at the bottom, uh, as usual. And you've got the multi multi function, whatever the hell that is, in the steering trim. So I guess that that's probably for um, the different settings you can get on this. So you can go into the menu, go on here, change some of the settings, and then set it or something like that. I'm not sure how this all works. So I'll have to read the instructions. Uh, this takes four AA batteries, as all the Traxxas TQI uh, remote series is do. Um, I don't know any other Traxxas remote that don't take eight AA batteries, so, well, four AA batteries. So um, that's really, really good. I love the body. I fell in love with the body as soon as I first saw this. There we go. You guys can't see it in a minute, but holy crap, that looks amazing. User manual and everything, and all the little bits and bobs uh, that come with it. I'll go through that in the review of this uh, once I've had a couple of days to uh, drive the car. Now, onto the car. Look at that. That looks amazing. Look, um, I really like this body because of the amount of detail that Trax has put into it. I really like the red. It was a really good decision to go for. This is more of a cherry red. It looked a lot brighter um, than it did. Uh, on the photos, um, but you know, <laughs> it looks really really good and I can't complain uh, It was a really good color choice. I really like contrast colors uh, So if it's like blue and black or green and white or green and red or green and black or something like that I really like big contrast colors because that really shows off the curves of the car And you see that this actually does have aerodynamic uh, cuts in the body so you can see here air will push through here when it's going fast and it'll go down here and over this bit here, which is the rear um, spoiler for the car, and that'll push down the back tires to get more grip. 
Um, yeah, the tractors really went all out for this car, um, they really, really did. Uh, it looks a lot smaller um, in person than it does in real life, you know, you'll say that this looks quite big, but it's not actually. Um, for an on-road car, it's quite big actually, it's a little bit bigger than um, uh, your standard on-road car, but um, it looks amazing, um, absolutely amazing. I might get a sound kit for this, like a proper, proper expensive one at some point, instead of the cheap one that I have in my uh, Traxxas Slash, um, so we could do a, a review on that at some point. Let's just take a quick look inside. Ah, this is something I love about Traxxas as well. So clean, so nice, no wires are tangled about the place, it's all very, very nice looking and it's quite light actually. Uh, the heavy part is actually the body, the body is actually quite a bit heavier than your standard body because uh, all the detail and everything that they've got on you know there's screws and everything on here that keeps all the body on and the things like that on um i might go around the internet see if i can get like front splitters for this or something like that just to give it a little bit more um, detail or a nice little spoiler at the back i think that'll look good with the spoiler on the back um yeah this is looking really really good this is a uh, open differentials but it is four wheel drive and it isn't by a belt here it's by a uh, dog well not dog bone a metal rod going through the center of the chassis and uh, now this car doesn't come with a uh, battery so you will have to get your own unfortunately uh, but fortunately i have a battery and that was for my traxxas slash so that's quite good um i like the little antenna as well they've uh, listened to other people's opinions and they've realized that the big long antenna does ruin the body so they've made it really really short but still kept it with a really really good long range is though is the tire compound the tire tread is really really good and it might make up for it in the grip but it's quite stiff quite stiff foam and especially the walls which is where you need grip at so i might see if i can take the rubber off and put some new rubber on and new foam inserts in but other than that tires feel good servo feels good as well they've got a new technology for the servo everything is on traxxas's website so if you need information about this car um, you can just go off and search it up on Traxxas, uh, their official website for Americans. Um, it, all the information will be there, so you can go off and get that at uh, Traxxas's website. Um, I'll put the price of this car here somewhere, because um, I'm not going to say it out loud. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is a really, really nice car. I'm just a little unboxing just to show you guys. I've got this in the mail. Um, I will read the instructions off camera and everything. Um, yeah, this is really, really cool. Uh, and about the detail as well, that is actually a brake disc on the 12mm hex. So the 12mm hex is also connected to the brake disc there. And it's not an actual brake disc, but it looks really, really good. And it complements the car really well. And um, I knew that the um, brake... Wow. Oh, okay. I didn't realise that, actually. Um, when you go off and move the tyre, um, the brake disc doesn't move with the brake caliper, um, which is really, really good. Unfortunately, that it's not real, but that's an amazing attention to detail. So hats off to you, Traxxas, for that, honestly. Um, you can see as well that they've got holes in the center here to for weight reduction. Uh, they've used really nice plastic here, nice and hard. Traxxas products are always known to be very strong. Um, yeah, this is a really, really nice car. I can't wait to get out and drive it. So, the suspension feels quite nice. It's firm, which is what it needs to be for an on car, but it's also got a little bit of leeway for when you're turning into corners to help with a little bit more grip. Um, there's already some spacers on the suspension already pre-installed. I think I might take them off, depending on how I feel the car is handling. Um, they've got this new, um, this new uh, uh, body holder system in place, which I really like the old one, but kind of like this one more so it's adjustable for uh, batteries and it just slides in and it's in locked and you can just push it down pull it out it gets a little bit stuck obviously because um you have to hold it down for it to all come out but yeah i really really like it it's a really really good idea i'm really really happy to see on this car that i can't do with the traxxas slash or any other traxxas that i've seen on the internet is you have adjustable body mounts you can go off up down which is really really nice um, you can go off and move these up and down as well I think it comes with um, some more body mount stuff in here yep it does and it comes with the opinion and everything but I'll talk about that again in another video but amazing I absolutely love this car it's, it's oh, 
it looks amazing and I'm so happy I got this. Um, my bank account, on the other hand, isn't so happy. <laughs> when you're first turning on your RC, always turn the remote on first and then uh, hold your car and turn it on because then you don't know the factory settings, you don't know if it's going to go full throttle forward, full throttle back or if the ceiling is going to muck up, so... Okay, no drama. Battery's not charged enough, obviously, but... Oh, steering's very... Ooh. Steering's very responsive, which I like. Um, I thought it's not doing anything. Right, so... I will go charge this up. And get it outside. Turn off. So that's all you guys are seeing for just now of the Traxxas 4 GT. Um, so excited to have this. I'll be going outside testing it and getting the feel for the car and then be coming back and doing a review of it after the video of the go-kart build. So uh, thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this unboxing, please give it a big thumbs up. It means a lot to me. Uh, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share with your friends. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya!